talking point across the whole country. Who threatened, blackmailed Indian cricketer Riddhiman Saha, who has gone on Twitter to expose a so-called journalist from some media organization who has tried to blackmail, show his influence or her influence and blackmail the star cricketer, threaten his place in the team, try and indicate that if he doesn't oblige him with an interview then his position in the team will be challenged. Who is this person? Now Riddhi has not named this so-called journalist or the media organization but there's a growing demand that he must do that. This smacks of a larger nexus which we must debate tonight. Riddhiman Saha is not a happy man. The veteran wicketkeeper who has been dropped from the Indian Test team is furious. Everyone wants his interview, some to get his reaction and some to peddle influence. This is the tweet posted by Riddhiman Saha on social media. He said, after all of my contributions to Indian cricket, this is what I face from a so-called respected journalist. This is where journalism has gone. In his tweet, Riddhiman also posted this WhatsApp chat, which however stopped short of showing the sender's name. It said, do an interview with me. Choose whoever can help the most. And then there's a call. You did not call. Never again will I interview you. I do not take insults kindly. I will remember this. Uh, the entire cricket fraternity is uh, abuzz and is talking about it. Senior names, Ravi Shastri, former Team India coach, is inquiring into this and he's asking why uh, someone from the Indian cricket team and others should be subjected to this. Similarly, former cricketers Virinder Seva, Gautam Gambhir, they've also spoken about it. Cricketers are rallying behind Riddhiman Saha and the BCCI has begun an investigation into the so-called journalist and the organisation which quote-unquote journalist blackmailed and threatened consequences to Riddhiman Saha. If the media organization employing the quote-unquote journalist is hiding his identity, are they also culpable? Let's debate. Let's look at the telltale signs and the hashtag tonight is hashtag is it you, but you is YPU because this individual has left a very telltale uh, signal of who or he or she is because the, the whoever this individual is seems to have a propensity to, to spell you wrong with saying YPU. So viewers hashtag is it YPU and uh, Gaurav I want to start with you. Whoever this individual is seems to tell Riddhiman Saha that I am so influential if you literally want to keep your place in the team, you should be talking to me. And if you don't, then you don't know what's good, good for you. So it's not just any reporter, is it? It's obviously something more. Definitely, it's a lot more. But I think before we get into what and how Vridhiman Saha has reacted to this journalist, we should put into context this man's career. He's been a player, a wicket keeper for a very long time. He's been waiting. He's been in the shadows. I think earlier on he was in the shadows for long enough when you had a phenomenon called MS Dhoni and now he has to contend with Rishabh Pant yeah. who is a guy who's got three centuries overseas and he suddenly sees himself at the, the raw end of the stick. He doesn't know where to go. Also, he has spoken to his head coach Rahul Dravid. Uh, the BCCI chief Saurabh Ganguly had something to say to him and the chairman of selectors, Chetan Sharma as well. So he's had conflicting voices in his ears. And this seems to be a reaction, not just to who this influential journalist is and what he has said, but all that has happened maybe in more than a decade with Saha waiting in the wings for so long that you just possibly break and that is what has happened. Now this could have been something which could have been overlooked, he could have ignored. Instead, he chose to take a screenshot and put it out there on Twitter, which is where we have seen that things do go somewhere, that people react, the BCCI reacts, cricketers react, and as we have seen in the lead up to this with Virat Kohli and BCCI, a lot of things have been said 
a lot of things have been miscommunicated. So this is yet another pointer as to see how much miscommunication there is. But it's it's more than but but Gaurav, but Gaurav, but Gaurav, it's more than miscommunication here. It is a threat. It's straight, simple threat. I will finish your career. It's, that's the kind of threat, right? I mean, I don't see any doubt here. Exactly. And, and no, Bebal, uh, the message, the underlying right. message is that he will ruin the career of Riddhiman. The underlying threat is that an accomplished cricketer will be finished if you don't appease this individual who calls himself a, a journalist. Why is the BCCI not talking about it? They should go public about it. They should investigate. There's no point hiding this. Is there, Karan, is there any point hiding this or hoping it'll pass? Mr. Sony. Well, uh, I think it's yes, a very I'm serious matter. No, no, absolutely. And you should not be hiding this. I think we investigate the matter and see that the culprit is caught. And he, they would know about it. And this is not repeated. Because a journalist, if they start threatening our cricketers, then, then what will happen? I, I think no. even the selectors should take this up seriously and see that this kind of uh, journalist blackmail doesn't affect their process of no, no, but This is not just a journalist, obviously. This is some, someone who's, who does a little bit more on the side, Karan. I mean, Absol this is yes. an influence peddler. Yes, yes. Absolutely. You know, Arvo, what has happened is highly disgusting. It's very appalling to see uh, somebody, a journalist, uh, who's apparently very res well respected in the industry, uh, talking to an international athlete the way he's done. I mean, he's not just threatened him, he's also inciting him uh, in that conversation. And the fact that... Uh, uh, yeah, go on, go on, go on. The, you know, the fact that uh, he had the audacity to message him knowing, the, uh, knowing that this will be documented, he enjoys a, a lot, big powerful position wherever, whichever network he is uh, working for. What BCCI should do is, of course, Vrithi Mansaha knows who he is, should speak to him. I've heard that they're going to be speaking to him. Uh, there's an inquiry going to be set up for it. They should get the name out of the journalist. And it should be made public. Indian cricket forever. It should be made public. Make sure. It should absolutely, be made public. Absolutely, make sure. And also, in addition to that, it should be made public. And in addition to that, they should they should lodge a formal complaint against the network. And if the network does not take any action against that journalist, they should bar and ban even that network from covering Indian cricket. Indian cricket enjoys a big might when it comes to money. Everybody wants to cover cricket. There is an IPL that is coming up. There is a World Cup that's coming up. Every channel would like to be on it. And if you put this pressure, I am sure that guy is going to be completely no, I, I think, his, I, his think professional I, I think this is the over from the, This is the, you know, uh, I was thinking, Harpal, this is like the Neera Radia scam in, in cricket journalism. Because this person is saying, you must choose who can help you out. The question being, Chandresh, you be, you've been an author, broadcaster. You must choose who can help you out. What kind of help, Chandresh? It's, it's, it's an interesting one that you bring That's up the insight. because it shows that uh, whoever the person is has the kind of might that Karan spoke about and uh, it's nothing new. We've had journalists in the past who may not have openly threatened but we had a great cricketer in the past who was, uh, uh, who was written about it extensively in his book uh, in the past about how a cricketer, how a journalist uh, threatened him that he'll finish his career. So, cricket journalists believe at some time that they may have the kind of power that they have. But my question is to the cricketers, are they so naive? Uh, it's only Riddhiman Sao has come out because he has nothing at stake now, that he has come out and spoken. Does it mean that other cricketers have also faced this? And where is, where is the BCCI? They haven't spoken on record on any of this. We only know about investigation only through sources not on record. So, till that doesn't come out, it's all speculation. You think, you think it, and it should I, go on record, Chandrish? Absolutely go on record. And, and you know, Ridhiman Sai has only come out because he has nothing at stake right now. What if, if, the, BCCI, stake, what if the BCCI says nothing, does nothing? I mean, could, is that an option, Harpal? Harpal what, 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 what if what the, BC... can the BCCI do? Uh, Arnab, what can the BCCI do? At the most, ban the said journalist from coming into the press But box. we need to know who the Are journalist is. Uh, we need to know who the journalist is. Who this? Because he's not a journalist, journalist, journalist at all. Oh, Karan, Karan uh, is on. Karan, Karan's come, coming back on how this. Karan, how will it help? How will it help? How will it help? Be from how will it help to, to silence this? That's it. Karan, 
Well, it help doesn't matter. You should you should know you should know who the culprit is. There he's 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 an international athlete that you're talking to. Whoever this gentleman, I won't call him a gentleman actually. Whoever this journalist is, so called respected and reputed, should know how to how to handle and speak to an international athlete. Yes, this name should actually come out. How can you say that? What's the point of the name coming out? The name has to come Even out. Even if the name comes out, period. we can't do and anything so about it. We can't do anything. The BCCI. You know, example being said, if, if this oh. person, this person, whoever the person is, is not a journalist. The person they is have to more, example, more a self-proclaimed broker. No, no, this person, Even if it has happened in the this past, person, whoever it is, whoever it is, you see, uh, Chandresh, who cannot spell you, who has a propensity to write you as YPU, uh, this individual is not a journalist. This individual is some kind of a broker, a blackmailer. But uh, you're saying what, it's okay. Whoever it is, whether it is a male, female, whoever it is. Yeah, whoever. My point is that my point is, what can the BCCI do at the most? No, but I they Irfan Pathan. No, no, Irfan Pathan has said this is not the first time. So where were they all this time? That's my question. Where were the cricketers? Why were they keeping quiet all this while? Why were the cricket? He blames the cricketers. He is blaming Riddhi. Harpal is Har, no, Harpal. Harpal uh, Chandresh is blaming Riddhi instead of no. blaming instead of blaming this person who cannot spell you and says you is YPU. Harpal, what's going on here? He, they are not journalists. They are a paratroopers. They are not journalists. Who called them? Respected. Writing two three articles and commenting doesn't make them journalists. Now it has become a fashion to be a personal friend. And uh, then talk to yourself, I'm in this profession for 43 years. I have asked for interviews and a lot of people said, no, no, we not give interview. I never tried to, nobody can threaten. It is a, a prerogative of a free to give interview or not to give interview. Correct. Now the gentleman, everybody knows it. Why to say he or she, everybody Let's not can name, say, let's not name, let's not name anyone. Let's not no, name anyone, it's a BC, it. BCCI Obviously should Obviously we are not naming it, but everybody knows it. And I think most of the, these people like him are the paratroopers. Suddenly they hit the headline. They come to you or to that they are suddenly seen on TV channels and they talk big. And the big without any foundation. Nobody challenges them. They will say, I know this fellow, I know that fellow, I had this party. And people get carried away by their big talk. They talk nonsense with conviction. The question is, they people like us, the Chandrasekhar, or me, who have gone through this mill, I would think twice because we have editors above us. We have other people to above us. Some editors, yeah, that's editors, true. Sports editor, but these paratroopers have no, nobody. They suddenly land up, and one day they say, "Oh, we have broken a story. We have created a story." The problem here is at the moment is cricket has become a big business. Otherwise, we also knew how to talk to Kapil Dev, Madan Lal, Yashpal Sharma, or Sachin Tendulkar, or Chandrasekhar has interviewed. I have. We have covered so many World Cup together. The question is, this gentleman or the person who is involved here is threatening. It's threatening. Yeah, the, the issue is the threat. When no. no, no. Most yeah. important thing, or not most important thing is, when he was threatening, all the TV channel owners believed him that he is a man or he, he is a person who can get things done. So when once he has uh, created an aura, see, you can't blame a auto. He had that aura now. Otherwise, why can't I threaten or Chandrasekhar threaten or other people threaten? The, uh, the fact remains. No, but then, but then, Harpal, Harpal, Harpal ji, Harpal ji. First of all, okay. first of all, a lot of respect for people like you. As you've said, you be everybody's been through the mill. The problem is that when people who are journalists immediately are peddling their influence and then building that, it's not. You see, ha, ha, Mr. Bedi, it's they not about. It's, it, no, no, you are calling the. I say it's more dangerous because, as you realize, and Gaurav says, there's a lot of money in cricket. So if somebody wants to get in, right, using a network or whatever, or you know, and once you're in, then tries to use that proximity for all these kind of things. Look at the language. The language is choose the person who will help you, which means you scratch my back, I scratch yours. In the most competitive sport in the country with billions Riding on it, an individual says, I can get you a place in the team, if, which also means, Gaurav, if you don't oblige me, I can get you out. This person has to be named. So, so, you, so you look at it, each player today has an agent. He has someone who takes care of his marketing, his image. Very often, it is someone very close. As we know, with some of India's best cricketers, an agent is possibly, after the cricketer, the most powerful person in cricket. Uh, the kind of access he has
to each cricketer's uh, time, money, and whatever he can do is huge. What journalists will, from this point, move on to do is to be surrogate agents, if they're not already doing that. They do what advertising does, but in a different way, which often is seen to be more credible. Uh, having been in advertising, I worked with enough clients who will often say, listen, could you guess us, get us a press release? Because that has more credibility. And that is what we are looking at journalists doing where you can change the narrative of a cricketer. If only recently, Ajinkya Rahane, who was dropped, was in an interview where, which created quite a furore, again with a respected journalist, and it had huge access, it created headlines. This is Rahane, the player who Twitter has been crying for, that this man should be dropped. Pujara and Rahane have gone through this sustained assault on Twitter, where social media tries each cricketer. Yet after that interview, where Ajinkya Rahane said that there were certain things which he did, and the credit went to someone else in Australia when he was the captain. That was pretty big, right? Yeah. And that is the impact of a social influencer, of a journalist, of a story. Change the narrative. The narrative was not questioned. No, this is the the this, narrative stands. This is that the, I, repeat, I repeat today, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a cricket journalist. My only association with cricket as some of you know, has been breaking those IPL scams, which was about the way teams were being bought, sold and stuff that happened. At that time, I'll tell you my experience, Chandresh. I saw that there were certain people who want to latch on, right? And I, I'll tell you privately, I won't take names here, but I was compelled to show the door to some people who thought they could latch on to the channel which I had founded, right? For personal benefit. I had to show them the door. And therefore, I believe that this moment, which is a resurrection of that, this, what is happening today, I feel very strongly about people who latch on to cricket and do this because, because Mr. Sony, this is a Neera Radia moment for Indian cricket. You need to realize this, and if you, this is the Neera Radia moment. Neera Radia was using certain so-called journalists, so-called, who were lobbying for ministerial births. This is worse. It's a reminder of that time. Then there were tapes in the public domain, now there are WhatsApps in the public domain. Mr. Sony, why doesn't the BCCI realize everybody is asking it questions? Who is YPU? Who is this individual? Why, why, why the side? Yeah, yeah, Chandresh, you want to come uh, in? Yeah, go on, Chandresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, if you if you read Ravi Shastri's tweet, I saw that. And he I, sort, I saw that. He sort of indic. I saw he that. Sort of indicated that it's been happening for a while. Uh, what, Ravi, so Ravi, which means if, if, Ravi Shastri, Shastri, Shastri indicated knew, very strongly, but yeah, but he also true. left it at a point. You know, yeah. but he no, said he, he said Saurabh should come into this. Yeah, no, but my point is, if Ravi Shastri knew that it's happening for a while. Why is he speaking now? Why didn't he speak when he was the India head coach for so many years? Why? And Absolutely. do you think Ritiman Sah, I come back to that point. Absolutely. Would Ritiman Sah have spoken if he had anything at stake? No, right which now? means probably, no, 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 which could be, which could be Chandresh, which could be since all of you, and I'm not saying Ravi Shastri alone, all of you, we are not taking names, I know, but Gaurav, Karan, you, Chandresh, Harpal, Bimal Singh, Roni, all of you seem to know who this person is and all, all of you seem to know what this individual has been up to. But then the question also goes, why didn't nobody do it so far? Because there must be some, you know, like who's going to bell the cat kind of situation. No, no, you people are also responsible because you are giving him the platform. The question is, if we say something, why, do we, why should we antagonize when he's getting a platform from people like you? Well, you okay, mean, fine. The editor. Okay, so, so, so Harpal blames the editors, Harpal blames the platform. In which case I say, Harpal, I'll say this to you. I don't know who this know, individual sir. YPU is, but if Republic no, no, no. were to employ this individual, I would have thrown them out before Harpal Singh Bedi would have asked me to on the channel. But today there's a quiet in the media also. I don't know who the individual is. You probably do. Now the question is Bimal Roy Sony. My question is, should BCCI take it up officially? Officially. But I think so. I think so officially. Yes, BCCI yes, should officially. take a strong action, find out and see that this journalist and whatever is happening doesn't happen. And uh, so sort of the being there. Do? What can the BCCI do, Mr. Sony? What can the BCCI do? At the most, stop him from coming, her, him or her coming to the yes. press box. What else can be done? Yes, correct. 
That doesn't stop uh, the person enough. from covering that, even that's good, that's good enough for that the only saved the money the for the press box, internet, and uh, the, the, the snacks no. in the press box. That's it. Nothing else. It doesn't do anything but, else. But what the needs to election. have stronger processes of dealing with the media. The BCCI needs to have stronger processes of dealing with the media. There should be a process, a protocol in correct, place. Correct, correct, correct. The, the, so I you agree. need to have process. You need to clean up your own act. You can't do much about ab about this journalist that's or whoever it is. You can't. You can only no, prevent him or her from coming to the press box because you don't have a system in place. Uh, yes, I think. I think. Uh, last word. Correct. As you rightly said. Yeah. BCCI okay. BCCI could make their own uh, points. Like if su such thing happens in this organization, I'm talking of the networks. Then they could ban them. They possibly could yes. Possibly yes. And, and for future. Possibly once yes. Journalist Karan. is banned. Oh, no, once the current. network is banned, it will affect their working. It will affect the current. their owners. It will affect. You think so? This is yes. Yes. He's yes, saying yes. the owners is on they the or or media or organization. Absolutely. An example should be if the fact that. The fact that Mr. Ravi Shastri is saying that it has yeah. been happening for a long Lisa, time Lisa. and there is one cricketer who's finally come out and you know showcased it to the world. Yeah. This should come out in the open. Gaurav, All the action, the necessary actions Gaurav, that last word, Mr. Gaurav. Roy just mentioned should be taken. I, I think, and just I, on a lighter note, think be... you know, there is somebody, uh, the reputed journalist has actually said, going by what has happened, uh, you know, journalists are like vultures. So that's exactly no, what no, I, been we need to. We need to. There needs to be a clean up act here. Gaurav, last word. I think it'll be totally fascinating. Absolutely. BCCI should work it out with Pratiman Saha and they should say, we will engineer, since BCCI TV does so much television, so much fun stuff, they should make an example and make this journalist interview Saha. Let them do it. Let them put it out there and look at it differently. Why not spin it around? Use BCCI TV and deflate the entire thing. It isn't as no, that's, big as it is made out that, 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 disagrees. <laughs> this is an ongoing debate, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And since <laughs> since <laughs> cricket has so many followers here, when you've seen a cricketer being blackmailed, there's a lot of lot of public opinion that's around it. I thank you all, gentlemen. I thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you tomorrow, same time. Before that, let me read two messages. How can I go without that? Shubhangi Singh from UP says, these radical groups must be banned with immediate effect. Vishwa Patel says, thank you for raising the voice of our brother, who are, of our Hindu brother, who, whose family I deeply sympathize with. Thank you very much, Vishwa. Thank you very much, Shubhangi. And see you tomorrow. We're tracking the story in Shivamoga and everywhere else. Till tomorrow. Good night and good night.